Science 3, Quarter 3, Week 6 Sound and its uses This is our lesson for today. Are you ready to learn? Learning competency The learners should be able to Describe the uses of light, sound, heat, and electricity. Let's have a review of our previous lesson. We've learned that electricity is important to humans. It is produced from different sources such as windmills, poles, and sun. It is generated by power plants. Electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. It is a secondary energy source which means that we get it from the conversion of other sources of energy like coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear power, and other natural sources which are called primary sources. We also tackled the difference between a conductor and insulator. You've learned that conductors are materials that allow electricity to pass through them, while insulators are materials that do not allow electric current to pass through them. Examples of conductors are copper, aluminum, steel, or any metal while examples of insulators are plastic, rubber, glass, cloth, and wood. We also discussed from our previous lesson that electrical appliances make our work easier. They provide convenience. Electricity is used to produce light, heat, motion, and sound. And it is important in our homes and in all places to help people in doing daily life activities. Electricity is one of the most exciting forms of energy. It is amazingly useful, but it can also be incredibly dangerous. It is important to protect yourself from electrical hazard. For today, we are going to have a new lesson. But before that, let's have a simple game. Listen and tell. I want you to identify the sound of the object that you hear. Tell me the source of that sound. Are you ready? It's the sound. What did you hear? Very good. It's the sound of a frog. Number two, guess the sound. What do you think is that sound? Very good. It's the sound of an earthquake. Number three, guess the sound. Very good. It's the sound of a tickling clock. Guess and tell the source of sound. Are you ready? What did you hear? 
Hmm. Very good. It is a drum. Guess and tell the source of sound. Are you ready? Wait. What do you think is the source of sound? Very good! It is a guitar. Guess and tell the source of sound. What do you think is this sound? What did you hear? Correct! It's a trumpet. Sounds can make the world exciting. Sound is another form of energy. Isn't it? In our previous lesson, we tackled heat, light, and electrical energy. So sound is another form of energy. It is produced when things vibrate. To further understand this, I want you to place your hands on your throat. Now, talk. What do you feel? Is there something vibrating inside your throat? Your vocal cords vibrate when you talk. These vibrations produce sounds. The vibrations of an object disturb the air in such a way that sounds are produced. Sounds travel in all directions from its source. Do you think paper, stick, and spoon produce sound? Hmm. Very good. The answer is yes. They can if we move or vibrate them. You can heat, pluck, stroke, or blow objects to produce sounds. Musical instruments produce sound because they are made to vibrate. Sound is made by striking, shaking, hitting, or scraping percussion instruments. The drum, cymbals, tambourine, and xylophone are examples of percussion instruments. They vibrate when they are beaten. Let's hear their sounds. Tambourine Cymbals and xylophone. The guitar, violin, and cello produce sound by strumming them. Their strings vibrate producing sound. They are called string instruments. Wait. Guitar and cello. Sound in string instruments is produced by plucking, striking, stretch strings. The flute, trumpet, and trombone produce sound when they are blown. The air inside them vibrates, producing sound. They are called wind instruments. 
flute, trumpet, and trombone. Wind instruments are blown so that the air column vibrates. Remember that sounds come from different sources. They can be from objects, musical instruments, animals, and people. Different objects produce different sounds. Sound of objects vary. There are objects that produce loud sound while others produce soft sounds. People can produce different sounds. People may talk in different voices. They may whistle, sing, and hum. Do you have any idea what is volume? Hmm. The loudness or softness of a sound is called volume. Examples of objects that produce loud sound or high volume are speakers and drums, while examples of soft sounds or low volume are the sounds when you whisper and sound of chirping bird. Now, let us differentiate noise from music. Remember that noise is an unpleasant sound. Noises are formed by irregular and disordered sound vibration. Concrete. Anna says she understands this project will be noisy. What not? Example of this is the sound in the construction area. On the other hand, music can be described as a beautiful or expressive arrangement of sounds. Musical sounds are composed of regular and uniform sound vibrations. The following pictures show the importance of sounds. Let us tackle one by one the importance of sound as shown on these pictures. Are you ready? First importance of sound. Sounds are used for what do you think is shown in the picture? First clue, it starts with letter C. What do you think is the word? Very good. Sounds are used for communication or to communicate. Through sounds, we can communicate to our loved ones. We can express our thoughts and feelings to them. We can talk to them and express our love. Remember, to be nice to people when talking. Speak softly. Do not shout or yell. You may say something that could hurt their feelings. There is a saying that a tongue has no bones but it can break a heart. So speak nicely. Second importance of sound. Sounds are used to what do you think is shown in the picture? First letter is letter E. Complete the sentence. Any idea? Very good. Sounds are used to entertain. We are entertained through the sounds that we hear. Pleasant sounds such as music relaxes us. It releases our tensions and stress. By listening to radio or watching TV, we feel calm.
Third importance of sound. Sounds are used to give hmm. First letter W Complete the sentence Very good Warnings Sounds are used to give warnings They give us warnings or alert us we can hear the alarm clock in the morning. It alerts us that it is time to wake up. The bell in the school or church alerts the people about the time or schedule. And the fire trucks alert the driver to give way. Remember that sound is also important in our daily lives. It is used to give warnings, to communicate, and to entertain us. Trivia time! Animals like dogs have a higher frequency of hearing sounds. This capability allows the animals to hear sounds that humans can't. It is also through this capability why animals can sense oncoming danger. This sensitivity to higher pitch sounds likely explains several phenomena involving dogs. Dogs may predict earthquakes using their highly sensitive ears and their ability to predict somebody's arrival at your door is likely to, due to their ability to detect the sound of a car before you can hear it, rather than any sixth sense. Finally, dogs can be so distressed by everyday noises like a vacuum cleaner or power drill because they sound louder to dogs than to humans. For your activity for today, wrap up. I want you to complete the concept map. Identify the four forms of energy that we studied and write their uses. 